So bring yourself to a comfortable seated position. Just find the sit bones, the pelvis, the legs. And just start to settle into your support. Relaxing your shoulders and relaxing into your belly. Feeling your weight, your stillness, your steadiness on the earth. Start to tune into your breath. Feeling that gentle movement of the in-breath and the out-breath. And just starting to tune in to how you're feeling today, what's around. How does your energy feel? What sensations, what emotions are arising? Meditation is really good to practice in the mornings because we have the day ahead of us and our mind can tend to be a little bit busy thinking about our to-do list or what's ahead. So it can be a good way to just start to sort through and prioritise and focus in, but also tuning in to just how we're feeling and what messages the body, the mind are giving us and what we need to take note of and be mindful with, but also what we can drop, what we can let go of And the more that we practice, the more regular we are with our practice, the better we get at this sorting, this focusing, this letting go. And the better we get at focusing in, prioritizing, being more efficient, And hopefully the steadier and more stable we'll feel in this practice. And then coming out of the practice into our daily lives, our decision making, our choices, our actions and reactions. our interactions with others, our relationships. Hopefully then making more positive choices that support and nurture us and help others. So relax in with our exhale, just noticing how you're feeling, what's around for you today, what 
do you notice? What can you observe? Let your belly relax and soften. Remember that Buddha belly. Just letting it relax. Feel that movement of the breath, that rise and that fall. Breath expanding and softening. And you expanding and softening. And just start to focus in and think of a task that you might have wanted to do or maybe you've been doing but you haven't done it for a while or there's something that you think, oh, I keep meaning to get around to that and I haven't done it yet. It could be some writing or making bread or doing something in the garden or the house or finding a friend, just something. And just visualize yourself doing that task and really absorbing yourself in it 100%. I was talking a little bit about flow the other day at the beginning of the meditation and how when we're in flow, we're fully absorbed, we're fully engaged. So just visualize yourself fully absorbed, fully engaged in that task, in that action. Think of all the things that you have to do before you do the task. So the sequence to bring you to the doing. So maybe if it's making bread, you have to go to the shop and get flour and get yeast. So really observe yourself doing and preparing. And then visualize yourself doing that task and fully absorbing yourself in it. 
however long it takes. And maybe if it's ringing a friend or speaking to someone on the internet, really visualize yourself listening, really listening to them and hearing everything that they say without passing judgment or bringing in your own stuff. And then visualize yourself afterwards, after the task is finished, has ended. How you feel. That sense of satisfaction when something is completed. That fullness that you feel, that delight. And again, you don't pass judgment on something if you've created it or if you've made it or how you were with your friend. So just visualize that. How it feels. And settle into that satisfaction. Just like you feel in Shavasana after a yoga class. So anything that we imagine, anything that we visualize, that we create in our mind, especially when it's task focused and we know that it's within our current realm, if you like, we can make it happen, we can create it. Especially if it's something that will give us satisfaction, that will make us feel content. will nurture us, will feed us, will settle us. And maybe you haven't done anything for a few days that gives you this satisfaction or that helps you feel like this. Often we can put off doing things for ourselves because we're very busy doing things for others. And doing things for others in itself can be very rewarding and satisfying. But make sure that there's a balance in there, that you're also nurturing yourself whilst doing. Notice your breath. Feel that movement, that expansion, body relaxed. Lightness and spaciousness, open.
a gentle rise and fall of your breath. Keep tuning into it. Just letting your thoughts calm and go. connect back to that feeling of satisfaction, of fullness. Content, steadiness. fill you up. And bring your hands to your heart center. Take a nice full inhalation. And exhale, bowing your head and opening your eyes and lifting the head up. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.